Today, I'm sharing how I solve going from a vector image, so like a logo, to a PCB, so we can put it on the silk screen. Let's get started. So what I use is Inkscape, KiCad, and an Inkscape plugin called SVG2 Shenzhen. So the version matters. I spent many hours banging my head against the desk to, to just wondering why, why does this not work? I'm John from Tinker Electric, electronics engineer, and I build tools and devices to get jobs done faster. If you're a electronics engineer or an entrepreneur and have a gripe with saying electronics, let me know and we'll see if we can solve it together. So after you've installed the plugin, so they call them extensions, you get a additional option here. So the first thing to do is to prepare the document. Uh, let's create all these uh, just this, this time. So what's going on here? So this plugin actually allows you to convert um, any image, so uh, layers of a vector, um, into footprints. So using this, you can actually um, take graphics from other places, import them in, and those graphics can then be uh, used in uh, KiCad. So you can make funky PCBs. The thing today, we only really want the front silk screen. So just out of simplicity, I'm going to delete everything else, and I'll skip that. Uh, delete. All right, so I've just got the front silk screen left. So next up, we import uh, the image that we want. So let's just pick the AI, and this is all fine. And so we've got this image that happens there. So the first thing you want to do is scale it to the size that you want on your PCB. So if we lock the proportions, go 10 mils here, go like that, now it's the correct size. So it's 10 mils across is what I want. Um, what we can do with the document, resize. So now I've resized the document. And now let's go back to our layers. Uh, so this is clearly on that layer and we can check that by going like this. Now, what you need to do is you need to save it, save it with an appropriate name and thus export, apply. All right, let's see what happened. We've now got a KiCad mod file. So now what you're going to do is include that library, manage footprint libraries, add another folder, uh, sample, point to the folder. Sample, there it is. And I can place it. And there you go. And it should be about one centimeter across, 10 mils. So now let's just have a look at that on a board. Edge cuts. And so this is basically on the silk screen layer. So now you can have however you want. And it's very sharp. Awesome. And that's it. So there's one other thing to note about it. So basically if you pull in anything from the PCB, you end up losing it, mainly because it doesn't exist on the PC on the schematic. So what you gotta do is you gotta make a symbol. So I've already done this, but not uh, what you'd normally do is you select the library. Library. New 
de ser bom. Logo placeholder. Make a box for that. Save it. And your footprint now becomes the MBUS logo. So when you jump over to the PCP and you bring it in, it's there. And it will stay there. 3D. And that's it. If this was useful for you, let me know. I'm building products and tools for electronic engineers and entrepreneurs. So if you want to join my email list, there's a link for that. And if you have a gripe with electronics or processes around it, let me know. And let's see if we can work something out together. I'm John Miskos. See ya.